If you like live music, today's the day to be in Raleigh. The big shindig is in town. Thirteen bands, including Melissa Etheridge, Train Tonic, and Vertical Horizon. NBC 17's Larry Pickett is live at the Altel Pavilion with more. Hi, Larry. How you doing, Tim? That's right. I'm live at the Altel Pavilion for the fourth annual Big Shindig, sponsored by NBC 17 and G105. Some of the big names today are Melissa Etheridge, Train, Chonic, and a lot more. So you got to come out here. We got a chance to talk with some of the fans and see why they came out. The easiest question I've been asked all day because for $27.50 you can come out and have music non-stop. Everybody talks about the fact that there's nothing to do in Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill. Well, we got something for you to do. It's great weather, so come on out and enjoy it. Why'd you come out here today? <laughs> to see the concert, be in the sun, be with friends, you know, have a good time. <laughs> right, yeah. To I want to hear some good music. Um, I came for Train, Vertical Horizon, Tonic, Tonic, you no, know, yeah, <laughs> good. Who you come to see? Uh, all the bands, all the bands. Vertical Horizon, Tonic. We just wanted to roll with Grand it. Grand Torino. We just wanted to roll with it, have a good time with our friends. Yeah. That's right, and I also had a chance to get backstage and talk to some of the stars and ask them why they think they're so successful. The music I write and the music I perform, music I love, comes from me. It comes from a real truthful place, and I've always tried to, to be more truthful than sort of to be what's of the moment because uh, that, that changes real quickly. Now why do you think you've been so successful? Well, I'm glad you think that. Because, you know, it's, it's all in a matter of opinion, I think. Success is just to me, when I could actually make a living playing music, I felt successful, you know. So like I said before, come out We're at the Altel Pavilion at Walnut Creek, the big shindig. So get off the couch, get in the car, come out here, there's still tickets available. Back to you, Jim. Hey, Larry, I know it's a little warm out there. I was out there earlier today, but uh, give me an idea. Are folks holding up pretty well? Oh, man. A lot of people coming out here, a lot of bathing suits because the temperature is just, you know what? I think everybody watched the weather team and seen what the weather was going to be like because they <laughs> dressed for the occasion. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. Have a good time out there. For music buffs in the Triangle, it's been quite a day. Shindig 2000 being held at the Altel Pavilion. Among the entertainers, Melissa Etheridge, Edwin McCain, and groups like Tonic and Gran Torino. Of course, NBC 17's Larry Pickett was backstage right in the thick of things. He joins us now live. Hi, Larry. How you doing, Jim? That's right. Thousands of fans turned out tonight for the fourth annual Big Shindig, sponsored by NBC 17 and G105. Now, there were 13 bands and two stages, but it seems like everybody turned out to see Edwin McCain. You see him right here. He's making his first appearance today at the Big Shindig, but not to sing quite yet. He took time to sign some autographs for some of his fans. This is Edwin's fourth year straight at the Shindig, and I asked him why he keeps coming back. They pay me. <laughs> yes, they pay me lots of money. No, actually, um, it's I, you know, I love playing. If I wasn't doing this. You know, now that Prince has like changed his name back to Prince, you heard about that, right? Day. See, I'm going to be the artist formerly known as the Pizza Cook. <laughs> so, you know, don't ask me twice to play music for, right. you know, my God, this is the greatest job anybody could ever have. All right, and another big name here tonight was, of course, Melissa Etheridge. A lot of people were wondering why she performed at three and not headline the event. Well, actually, last night she was in Salt Lake City, Utah, today at the Big Shindig, and right now as we speak, she's uh, performing at the Peoria Complex in Phoenix, Arizona. We asked her how this tour is holding up for her. Uh, this one's kind of hard, yeah. You have to sort of just breathe and pace yourself and know that you're in for, you know, a couple long, long flights, and you just kind of... You don't plan on doing anything else but what's asked of you, what's called of you. So it, it's, it's times like this that experience really comes in handy. So Jim, you missed it. Lots of big music, lots of fun. A lot of people turned out. And actually, NBC 17 and G105 are already planning for next year's Big Shindig. All right, Larry. Sounds like a lot of fun. Hey, thanks a lot. You know.